Can AMC go back to $16 in the next three months? We're about to find out. So Benzinga reports on some unusual options activity in AMC. They're not sure is this institutional investor or some insider who knows what is about to happen because they said that when something big happens with AMC, it often means somebody knows something is about to happen. So let's see what is about to happen according to them. Today Benzinga option scanner spotted 17 uncommon option trades for AMC. The overall sentiment of these big money trades is split between 52% bullish and 47% bearish. Overall looking somebody look like he's trying to hedge the position. It's very very equally spread over here. Out of all special options they uncovered 12 are puts with a total value of 1,000,000 $83,000 and 5 are co-option contracts for a total amount of $188,000. And the slim part over here is that if you see what data provides Benzinga, calculates that the price action that was targeted from institutional investors or generally speaking traders who trade options was between $1.50 and $16. You understand what kind of spread we're speaking about? Taking into account the volume and open interest on these contracts, it appears that Wells have been targeting a price range from $1.50 on the downside all the way up to $16 a share over the last 3 months. But breaking down how much money they are betting, not the amount or the open interest of, of the contracts or the number of the contracts itself, somebody is betting a million dollars according to them. Uh, with the bearish sentiment while there's only $180,000 worth of contracts that are actually placing on the upside and remember no one knows what will be the end result of the court hearing because most likely these people are having a hard time to find actual liquidity in stock so this, that's why they're placing bets on options also remember uh, options can give them much better leverage especially if, if they expect a major volatility because I don't believe that in any court final decision uh, approved or you know disapproved the stock will remain flat. Uh, the volatility will be crazy in either direction, right? It will go up, it will go up crazy, it will go down, it will go down crazy. So either way, they have to hedge their particular bets for the final decision from the court. Looking forward, remember end of June, uh, who knows, end of July, no one knows. Things are kept changing over and over again. So essentially this long term options either on the upside or downside uh, should play a major role because they will change the number of the open interest. There will be more people leaning towards bullish or bearish stance if they're interested of trading KMC in general. Also for the last month the borrowing fee has dropped a lot currently sits at around 70% down from average from the previous month of 200%. So average through whole April we saw around 200% on average borrowing fee for the shares. Now we're seeing that uh, the borrowing fee has dropped to 70-80%. So this is again a little more different considering that you know the liquidity is drying up considering that the volume uh, hasn't improved as much as people expected. Again I understand some people can go even further saying that you know uh, articles like this are trying to push certain uh, options activity or you know, trying to encourage indirectly people to trade more options. I don't know. All I'm seeing is that definitely somebody knows what is about to happen in, in the near term. Not right now, but uh, very close around at or after the final decision from the court. Because this will be detrimental. This will be something that uh, will change the price action big time. It's not something that we're seeing on a daily basis, 3-4-5% on the way up. Then, you know, three days in a row, the stock is down 3% a day, like down 10% for, for the trading session, trading week, right? This is not something that we've seen before. So I believe there will be much more open interest in options on either direction, getting closer to the, to the final core decision. Yeah.